All right, guys, here's the trans axle. All right, see, hopefully you can just demonstrate it. So both are moving right, you can see that. So then one's not, it's just keep, I'm not spinning at all. And that's the open diff. So, um, I'm going to uh, start removing that spin sensor on top. So, that's what we'll be doing. So, here's the speed sensor. I think that's a 10 millimeter, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, 10. So, bear with me. This is my first time doing it. Pry bar. Alright, the pry bar is out. Got that pry bar. Got that spin sensor. Okay, I'll destroy it. Grab a screwdriver. All right, get the screwdriver. I want to be at least careful with it. And there's that speed gear. So put that to the side. I don't know if this transmission will be the same. There's other front wheel drive cars I've seen. So, I have to figure out um, where to start. I'll probably take up this off. It's, it's a bit, I don't know if this one was missing, so I'll put this red or not. And let's see. Go. I'm gonna grab some PB blaster. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, I don't know if it's a uh, you know. So. No, it's a ten. Alright, I'm coming with the problem. I can't put my ratchet right here. So let's play with this one right here. These are tens. So there's tens right here, here, and down here. So uh, these will help, but let's learn together. So I'm being lazy. Um, try to use the And this one, oh, there's one right here. So. Alright, there's four.
up anything and let's see if they all right broke down off and uh i'm gonna zip these off right now all right uh took all the bolts out so let me see then the toy bar let's see if it wants to spread out or not, so. All Alright, something's like uh, grabbing still. I'm gonna probably go look in the service manual. I see what's ho uh, still uh, holding it, but right here you can see a nice little gap, right? So we probably have to take up this uh, thing right now, but I'm gonna try if it does anything. See if that does anything. All right, it pulls out this gear, this 14 millimeter. Yeah, gear selector, whatever. I'll see if it does anything. I'm gonna look and read a little bit. Uh, I read the manual, so you gotta pop this out. Grab a hammer. There's a snap ring right here to remove. So, hopefully, as you can see that, so I can, so I can remove it right now. Here, you got some snap ring pliers. All right, I got snap ring pliers. Concerning it, Let's see, you get size. You can see that. So, I'm trying to do this on my own. Bar. All right, I went a little too fast, so um, these are fourteen right here. These two bolts, you pull these out. From the side, you pull these springs out. So, I see there's a way to pull these out. Okay, there's one. There's two. I think these that's the only two that you have to do. 
I see. Pull this out. Thing and popped it out. Pull the transfer case. The transfer case, the transaxle case out. Oh, all right, so that's how nasty she looks. Holy crap. Uh, look at some broken pieces in here. Look at that. On the side, see there's a magnet in here. I never thought these would have magnets. So, let's see. How can I move the differential out of here? Here's the differential. There's the gears. So, uh, hopefully, I don't see anything crazy. So, gotta take take my time doing this. So, uh, gotta figure out how this thing works. All right, uh, I'm gonna uh, remove these two twelves. Are you guys? You see that? All right, I'm gonna pull this out nice and slow. Put this came out of it. And uh, you're gonna take off this 14 right there. I know you guys can, nope, you guys can't see that. Uh, right there. Same thing. What those other springs? <sighs> this is like a blue color. All right, there's another one over here. This uh, 14, same thing. So, I'll grab my pick. And this one's, it's like, uh, oh, you guys can see that or not. Come on, focus. All right, you get like a plastic camera, and this can tap into this one. Until it gets loose, so you got loose. So, oh, uh, and these rod, there's like a pin down here. I don't know, uh, kind of messed up. So I'm gonna show you the guys. The pin, the pins down here. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys can see the pin over here. So, there was one pin right here, the pin right here. 
so you can use that so tap that in there so my bad guys so no one popped out a C clip right here so I'm gonna see if I can pump her out I don't know if that's a good angle or not. Popped it out. Here's that C clip. All right, I took out another C clip. It goes underneath right here. It's right here. So pull that out. I will hit it with the hammer. Let's see if it, if it comes out. So, so. alright so I took all like four pin uh four C clips right now so you wiggle this up then you pull the input shaft so pull that out Hopefully, everything comes out. Pull it to the side, like so. That, and that's how it looks. All right, I'm gonna pull out the diff. All right, there's the differential. It's open. You can see that. The only thing I'm gonna reuse is the speed gear right here. So I'm gonna cut it. I'll show you guys in a second. So uh, little pins right there. Um, so pretty much, yeah, that's how she looks. Um, and uh, that's how she looks too. So I'm gonna go to the table and start cutting the bearings off. Not this one, but this one is my way. So I'm gonna cut that right now. All right. Uh, basically, I'm gonna cut this in an angle so I don't want to hurt the speed gear. Um, I don't have the special tool to uh, remove the bearing. Hopefully, I don't destroy it. Um, I'm gonna do it as an angle. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a hammer and uh, hit it. All right, uh, get the hammer, pry bar. Just chills it as out. So. All right. Bust it through. I'll see. Still have to. Uh, some way to get this out still. I'll probably get that air hammer and da 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 that way. So let me get. Alright, I got the air hammer. I'll see if it does anything.
Well, uh, I'm gonna keep putting it. Bada beam, bada boom. Alright. Is there a thing just holding it? Nope, just like that. Just pop it out. And these tabs are going up. When we put the new one in. And then let's start taking these uh these bolts out. And take out the ring gear. So let's go. Let's do that right now. All right, I have it on the vise. They're 14 millimeters. Let's see if I can break these off. All right, it ain't gonna work like that, so. get over so it won't move I still have an off position so I uh, think all right got that one off, uh, off. let's grab the next one and Figure out. I'm just gonna go up a little bit. Got a piece of wood. So, so it gives me clearance at least. Nope. Need to get a bigger wood. So if this works. Got that one, those ones loose it. Let's flip it over. Be careful not to drop the uh, ring. Okay. Now you can, I could just take these off. Alright, I'm shooting on right now. So before I loosen the other bolts, I just want to put these black wood around here somewhere. I don't want to damage the in here. So just a little cheap. So right. there she goes. Here's your ring gear. Alright so you got the factory open diff so it works good you know but when it rotates it doesn't lock itself you know limited slip here's the LSD OBX so this is what we're doing adding this on so let's do it right now and uh I'm gonna put on the button right, uh adding the ring gear this side up and the bolts are standing up on the LSD. So maybe like alright, so I got my torque wrench. 
Uh, it's between 83 through 94 foot pounds of torque. So, uh, if you guys are from uh, outside of the country, I I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, uh, let me check this out. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, move. It's all done for uh, torquing it. Now I'm gonna grab the speedo thingy and the bearings. All right, I got the plastic gear. Uh, remember the tabs are up top, and I got the uh, bearings. So we're gonna put this on first. Something like that. All right, so I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a I'll get to the press right now. All right, I got it in this ghetto thing. So here's the um, bearing. It's all made in Japan. Where is it? Let's see, damn, Let's see Japan. So the this has to go this way. Make it close to the flush. The only thing, I don't have a special tool, but I have a 36 millimeter. So, I'm trying to do it as close as I can. So that's how she looks. Hopefully, I didn't went all the way down. So make sure you're close to flush right here. So same thing right here. Let me grab the other bearing. All right, 
the same thing. As as you can. As straight as you can. Let's see. Doesn't look straight to me, so I re reposition it. Take a little thing off. Feel it resist on you till you can't do no more. So, loosen it. And that third six actually worked pretty good. So, a little. You can see there's like no gap in each one. So, pretty good. All right guys, the LSD's assembled. So, I'm gonna call it a day. Getting a little hungry. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna start assembling it. So, so you, uh, you guys don't have to do this all at once, you know. You can take the information nice and slow and nice and easy. So, um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to clean up the transaxle case, clean all that out, take off the seals to make it easier over here anyways. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, concerns, let me know. I know I kind of eh about it. So hopefully you guys got a better understanding how to do it. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day, night, weekend, where you guys are from. And drive safe and stay dirty.